So if you can't do a single push-up, don't stop watching, all right? This video is for you. Hey, Mark McKillier with Live Anabolic. Have you seen me before on this channel? All right, today, let's do some exercises, body weight only. So it means you don't need any dumbbells, you don't need any bands, you don't need a gym membership. We're only gonna use our body weight to build a big chest. So guys, I know what the problem is, all right? There's a lot of you watching the video right now that are not just beginners and it's gonna be difficult to use your body weight. You're beginners and you're way overweight, all right? So you might need to lose 40, 50, 80 pounds. So if I was having to do these exercises with an extra you know, 40 or 50 pounds on me, it would, be, it would kick my ass, all right? So the trick about today's video is I'm gonna show all you beginners, including the guys that need to lose a lot of weight, how to do these exercises, even though you might not be able to do them the traditional way or the optimum way, I'm gonna show you how you can tweak them so that you can start. Because guys, you have to be willing to fail before you can succeed. All right, we're not all born with the ability to be great at stuff, all right? So you have to be a beginner and being a beginner and failing is, is kind of embarrassing. But the good news is this is all done at home. So you're not gonna go to a gym and look really goofy trying to do exercises that you just can't do. You can do them you know, in the solitude of your own home. Nobody's gonna know if you failed. And the thing is you just need to eat you know, your ego, guys, because I promise if you, if you use the substitution exercises and the little few tweaks I'm gonna to show today, it'll give you the ability to do the exercises so that at least you start building some strength, all right? And it may take months of doing them the alternative way before you can start doing them the way I would like you to do them, the more conventional way. But that's okay, you gotta start somewhere, guys. So stick around, I got four different exercises. Actually, it's gonna, it's gonna morph into way more than four exercises. Um, but before I get there, I just wanna quickly mention our Facebook group. So this is you know, our free YouTube channel. We also have a free Facebook group. So don't roll your eyes and tell me, no way you're not gonna do Facebook. It's social media, blah, 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 blah. Screw it. Create an account. I don't give a damn if you don't like social media. Don't use your name. All right, don't put any pictures of yourself up. Be anonymous. Just absorb all the cool information that's going on in our Facebook group because it's guys like you and me, all right? It's all a bunch of guys in their 40s, 50s, 60s, and, and really even older, 70s and 80s, all over the world. We got 16,000 plus guys. I'm in there every day, I'm the moderator. I delete uh, posts by people that I don't like, all right, that don't abide by the guidelines. And so it's just a bunch of really great guys and everybody's helping each other. And trust me, there's a bunch of guys in there that are totally beginners. They're extremely overweight. They don't know where to start, all right? And that's, that's what it's about. So guys, it's not just working out in that Facebook group. You know, there's a ton of nutrition. There's a ton of injuries, all right? People are asking each other, you know, what do you do for certain injuries? I'm helping out. And, and there's a lot of motivation. So it's just, a, it's just a great feel good site where you also learn a lot of stuff. All right, so hopefully it's not gonna come as a big surprise to any of you guys watching the video today that we're gonna be focusing on push-ups because when it comes to building chest and using only your body weight, you know, no equipment whatsoever, we're pretty much limited to push-ups or variations of push-ups. So if you can't do a single push-up, don't stop watching. All right, this video is for you. All right, I talked about it just a second ago. I'm gonna show you guys, the beginners, people who are extremely overweight, who are lifting a whole lot more weight than I am, all right? You need a substitute way of doing these push-ups so you can get started, all right? And that's, that's really gonna be the focus of this video. I'm gonna give you some great ideas for traditional push-ups, but also I'm gonna show all the beginners out there how to do these exercises a slightly different way and still get the benefit of building a strong chest. 
Okay, so guys, I'm gonna start off with the gold standard, which is the traditional, you know, kind of the, the military style push-up. Um, and the reason, you know, the military does it is because it just works. It's the most effective way with, you know, using no equipment to build upper body strength. And guys, the great thing about push-ups is we're not just focusing on our chest. You know, when you start doing these exercises, you're gonna feel the exercise in lots of other muscle groups. So when you're doing a push-up, yes, we're, we're using our chest, but we're also using the front part of our shoulders, okay? Because your, your shoulders, your delt muscle, is really comprised of three different groups. You know, you got the front, the lateral, and the rear head. So this is gonna get a lot of that front head. And also, anytime you're straightening your arm like this, you're using your triceps. And then of course, because we're gonna be doing it in like a plank position, you're gonna be using your core. You're gonna, you're forced to engage your core so your butt doesn't sag. So tons of muscle groups are getting activated at the same time. So guys, experiment, all right? Some of you are gonna have bad shoulders, bad elbows, you know, on and on and on. You might need to experiment with hand position, okay? So, you know, the traditional way is fingers facing forward, hands are gonna be slightly wider than shoulder width, okay? And I'm trying to keep a real straight back and butt, all right, so I'm not up too high and I'm not letting it sag down, all right? So this feels pretty straight to me. And then I'm just focusing on going straight down and straight up. Now, my elbows are not flaring out to the side like this, okay? And they're not too close to my body like that because then I'm using just my triceps. So my elbows, if you look at my body from the top down, all right, looking straight down, my elbows are flared out at roughly a 45 degree angle relative to my torso, okay? So boom, boom, and guys, that's tough. That is not easy. Now, let me, let me just talk about this real quick. I don't, want, I don't want you guys to fall asleep watching the video, but push-ups are an exercise that you can get really good at, all right? So, you know, I haven't been doing push-ups in a long time. I really haven't. So, you know, for me to knock out, you know, 25 or 30 push-ups would be hard, all right? But several years ago, I was filming a, a, a completely, you know, different workout routine. It's a military-style workout program, and I was shooting it with a friend of mine who's 30 years younger, and he's in the Marines. <laughs> and so I didn't want to feel like an idiot, so I spent about two months practicing push-ups before we started shooting that workout program so that I could, I improved my, my maximum number of push-ups from about 30, I think I got up to 60, all right? But it took a while, okay? Even though I was already strong and I had a pretty big chest, all right? You know, lifting weights, push-up is different. So guys, it's push-ups, and I think sit-ups are another exercise that are very similar. You can, you can work at them and get better really, really quick. And so you don't wanna just do push-ups once a week, all right, if you're trying to improve. You gotta start, and I would recommend you probably do them three times a week. And it kinda of depends on what else you're doing throughout the course of the week when it comes to working out. But, but let me show you guys, you beginners, you guys that are overweight, you're not going to be able to knock out a bunch of regular traditional push-ups like I just showed you. So this is the trick, all right? Your knees. So I'm going to give you two different ways to cheat, okay? So we're going to be on our knees, okay? Then I'm going to get my hands out here in front of me a little bit. And your hands can't be directly under you like a traditional push-up because if I go down here, Oh my gosh, I'm way out. My head's way out in front of my hands. So when you, if you do them on your knees, all right, your hands are gonna have to start out in front of you, okay? Because now when I go down, see how my hands are directly in line with my shoulders? And I come back up, okay? So that's the key. You know, this is where my hands would normally be if I was straight. They would be directly under my shoulders, right? But if I went to my knees and then did a push-up, oh my God, that's really hard. And what happens is it puts all the weight on your triceps and not so much on your, shoulder, on your chest. So 
Get those hands way out in front of your head, all right? And now, okay, go down and back up. Now, because you're on your knees and not your toes, you're not having to lift nearly as much weight, okay? Much, much easier. Now, some of you guys might have a problem doing it that way even. So let me give you another alternative. If you're really, really starting off and you're carrying a lot of extra upper body weight, a lot of fat basically, that makes doing push-ups hard. I wouldn't be able to do push-ups the traditional way if I had another 50 pounds on me, okay? So I need to give you guys a way to do it. All right, we're still gonna be on our knees, all right? But we're gonna do an elevated push-up now. So I'm gonna pick something, a coffee table, a chair, a cushion on a couch, it doesn't matter. But the higher off the ground it is, the easier it's gonna make this push-up, all right? So I'm still on my knees. Remember, my hands are out in front of me, all right? Just like earlier, and I'm just, Going down until my chest hits the cushion. And at the top of the movement here, guys, I want you to try to flex your chest. I want you to try to bring, almost like you're squeezing your elbows together, because you'll be able to feel the contraction much better. If you just kind of push up and then go back down, you're going to feel it more in your triceps and your shoulders and not so much your chest. So this is, this is a mind-muscle connection thing. You guys have to practice on. So you go down. I mean, you come up. I'm squeezing my elbows together. And I'm squeezing my chest, all right? That way you'll get a good pump. A lot of blood will go to your chest. And so that's several different ways to do the gold standard of push-ups for guys that are in good shape and also for guys that are totally starting out. All right, exercise number two. Remember, they're all gonna be variations of push-ups. Now, this is called an isometric hold push-up. And so, guys, traditional style push-up, okay? And what I want you to do is go down and then hold it. Zero, one, two, three, up. Zero, one, two, three, up. Zero, one, two, three, up. That's tough, all right? You're not gonna be able to knock out 30 or 40 of those, okay? All right, so how are you gonna do this if you're a beginner, if you're carrying an extra 50 pounds of weight? No way you can do those isometric hold push-ups. So we're gonna go back to our knees, okay? Same thing. Hands are nice and far out in front of you. And now we're just gonna do the same thing I was showing you earlier. So you're gonna go down, zero, one, two, three, up. Zero, one, two, three, up. And if that's too hard, all, you know, alternative number two is knees elevated. Zero, one, two, three, up. Zero, one, two, three, up. So two different alternatives to the isometric push-up, guys. It's tough. Okay, so exercise number three is something that I call a standing dip. So you need, you need a couple of sturdy chairs, guys. Um, and the problem with demonstrating this video is I won't be able to get across to you how much weight my legs are holding up or contributing to the exercise, but I'm just gonna do my best to explain it to you. So dips, guys, are not just a tricep exercise. Now I have them in my workout program where you put your hands behind your back and your feet are out in front of you on the ground and you're doing dips and that is primarily a tricep. But this is gonna be completely different form and it's gonna be good for you beginners because you can use your legs to help support your weight and put less weight on your chest. But anyway, let me just, let me show it to you and then I'm gonna, it may get boring watching it, okay? But I'm gonna do my best to describe the mind-muscle connection. So, guys, you know, your feet are gonna be, you know, basically just a little bit behind your shoulders. And you can experiment with where it feels best, all right? But basically, I'm just gonna go down and then push up. Down and 
everybody watching this video is going to have different ranges of motion, especially if you have bad shoulders, okay? Luckily, my shoulders and elbows are still in good shape, and I have pretty good range of motion, so I can go pretty much all the way down, and I'm pushing up, all right? And I'm using my arms and my chest, all right? So the thing is, you can't tell watching how much of this is being done with my chest and arms and how much is being done with my legs. So if you can't lift your weight, all right, with just your upper body, perfect. Just use more legs. It's real straightforward, guys. So you can come down here and, and then if you can't get up with your upper body, you just basically push with your legs. Now you might not be able to see that on the, on the camera right now, but all I was doing was just giving my upper body more aid by just contracting my thighs and pushing up, just like I'm standing up, okay? And so basically I'm using the chairs as stability for my legs, but you don't wanna do all leg. So you're gonna have to figure out how much leg you need to use to get your weight up while at the same time contracting your chest and your triceps as much as possible. So you don't want to cheat too much and just <laughs> and just basically stand up and down. So right now I'm using my legs and my hands and upper body are just hanging on for the ride. Or I can really feel my weight on my upper body here. And that's really difficult, and I was using very little leg to help my body up. So, guys, just adjust according to your fitness level, the amount of extra weight you're carrying, and this exercise automatically will adjust itself for your fitness level. Okay, the fourth one is the hardest. It's called the decline push-up, so my head is actually gonna be lower than my feet. And unfortunately, there is no alternative for beginners on this one, all right? So if, if, if you're overweight, if you're just starting off, you can try this, but I doubt you're gonna be able to do even one because they're pretty tough, guys. So the higher your feet are relative to your head, the more difficult the push-up becomes, okay? Now this will also place a little more emphasis on the upper part of your chest relative to the lower. So your chest has got two major muscle groups, upper and lower. Now the other thing it does is it puts even more weight on your shoulders. And your shoulders are not nearly as big as your chest, all right? So that's what makes this really difficult. But it's, it's still a great exercise. And if you guys you know, have been doing push-ups your whole lives and you can knock out 30, 40, 50, you need to start doing these, all right? So here we go. Feet are up here, all right? And it's just. And so, guys, I wish I could show you a different way to do that, you know, down on your knees or something, but that dog just ain't gonna hunt. That is a tough way to do a push up. And if you can do it, more power to you. I urge you to work those in to your routine because you'll get a, a bigger pump and a better overall chest development. And if you can't do those because they're just too damn hard, that's fine. The three previous versions of chest exercises are gonna work great for you. All right, the main thing I want you guys to get out of this video, especially for the beginners out there is you have to start someplace, guys. I mean, <laughs> I promise, you just, you just dedicate yourself. You tell yourself, screw it, I don't care how stupid I look, how few push-ups I can do, you gotta start somewhere. You start doing these on a regular basis. I don't mean just once a week. You need to, you need to crank out as many as you can, all right? Two, three times a week, and I promise you, after one month, you'll be able to do twice as many as when you started. You do this for two or three months, you're gonna triple or quadruple the amount of push-ups you can do. You're gonna be really surprised at how fast your body progresses, all you beginners out there, but you have to suck it up and eat your ego because it ain't gonna be pretty at first, right? But if you stick with it and never give up on yourself, I promise 
you'll be able to build a chest with nothing but your body weight.